if it was Joshua or whatever it was, but he tried to tell me that that NASA had discovered a lost day in time. A what? A lost day in time. A what? Yeah. NASA. NASA discovered it. It can work out. <laughs> The things I ponder when I'm watching Strafe Smells, even though it's awesome. Like, Bethany, if you had time for something else, are you where are you religiously? If you don't mind asking, you're an atheist. Yes. Atheist, as in what do you mean by that? What do you say? Agnostic atheist. Oh, yeah. what do you what do you mean by those words? I, don't, I, I only asked only. I, I don't know if God exists. I don't believe a God exists, but I can't show it 100. Mm. But I like the belief. Were you ever religious? What made the transition occur? Last year. Okay, so you're very, you're like relatively minted agnostic atheist. Yeah. Okay, I'm an agnostic atheist myself. I'm wondering like what, I, I always find it really interesting about what changed people's minds. Do you have a moment to talk about that? Yeah, it's, it's actually the spanking issues what kind of helped me overturn like my, I'm sitting on the fence as an agnostic mm -hmm. forever. Agnostic gnostic? Just ag I just always call myself an agnostic. Ah, uh, you didn't embrace the about, atheist way. Right? Yeah, for probably about 13 years. Got it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so you were already sitting on the fence for a mm -hmm. while. And then the spanking issue is what made it. One, yeah, one of them, yeah, major. If it turned out Christians weren't the ones spanking, and if, if, if I can show you a statistic that actually atheists spank kids more than Christians, would that make you go back a little bit? It would definitely make me want to do more research and consider that the strong, you know, that strong position. Because I wouldn't, because I try to be more middle of the road instead of black and white. Okay. Now, as before, I could, I could, I didn't know how to do that. If spanking wasn't an issue whatsoever, would you still believe in a god right now? Mm -mm. Why not? Probably just because, like, I had a major falling out with my parents and. Um, I went through school and I started just learning more stuff about the world around me, and that was definitely that was definitely one of the stepping stones too. Okay, just throwing this out. I'm not saying it's the case. Pretend there's a religion out there that's like fallouts with parents happen, but check out all this awesome science stuff, mm -hmm. and we don't agree on spanking kids to the same certainty that you are. Plus, our God, Mr. TKO or whatever <laughs> exists. Now you have the perfect religion to fall into because now it seems to meet your needs on. You know, relationships with parents sometimes, but you can build them up long term. You got the science stuff in there. You got the no spanking. It's like the perfect God belief. Would you believe in that God? Seems like there's something more important than just the spanking, family relationships, and science. Like, what's keeping you from believing in God right now? Probably the evidence. Okay. And the fact that it is unfalsifiable. So I'm just kind of like, mm, you know, yeah. So if you had a more falsifiable claim, like something would be like, I know what this doesn't look like, now I have a frame of reference to know what it does look like. Yeah, and, and we had a my therapist that I was seeing who was highly religious, and we talked about a story Whoa. about, um, <laughs> I think, I don't know if it was Joshua or whatever it was, but he tried to tell me that, that NASA had discovered a lost day in time. A what? A lost day in time. A what? Yeah. NASA. NASA discovered it. NASA discovered a lost day in time? Yeah, and they used the Bible to help them discover this lost day in like time. Like a leap year? Like, yeah, like a, like a, like a, like a computer programming glitch. So, oh, so like, like the timing. somehow a day happened that nobody yeah. knew about? Yeah, like, like they couldn't uh, calibrate their computers the right way for something. Oh. So they had to refer to the Bible. What? Find this lost day of time when some Bible story, I can't remember the characters. And like your, the, your therapist said this? Yes, yes. He said, didn't you know What did this, this therapist say? <laughs> Another bandwagon. I'm he sorry, goes, sorry. And he goes, <laughs> I know, it was so funny. He goes, don't you know that NASA read the story in the Bible and they said that the, the, the sun stopped still in the sky. No way. And they lost a whole day. And then once NASA read this Bible story and, and put it together, then they were able to discover or back together this lost day of time. And his timing no and way. Was, okay. Didn't you know that was true? And then I remember walking out of my therapist's office thinking, no, I don't believe what you're saying. And I researched this, and it was a Snoke saying it had been. That's huge. Gone. And it was even on Answers in Genesis. Sure. And it said it was not real. Wow. And, and that shook your faith. That was one of them. I was like, okay, mm. if I've been holding out, this is this is definitely one of the major. 
I'm done. I like I can't believe this is not an errant. This is not real. Sure. This can't be proved true. And I just, I just don't. I don't feel compelled to believe in, in this anymore. And that did you find yourself with the atheist label as like? I can't help but be an atheist? Or did you like seek out, I need to find a way to describe my point of view, what matches that. Agnostic, sure. Actually, yeah. atheist kind of fits it. I don't know if they, what do you, that was for me, that was, that was my experience. I, I don't know, it was just like I went down like a massive rabbit hole of like, you know, talks on YouTube mm -hmm. and podcasts and I was like, mm -hmm. you know what, I think I really, I, I was surprised that I identified with that label. When the process of researching childhood as spanking and then realizing about the harmful effects, and sure. like, because I wanted an atheist perspective, that's, sure. that's kind of what started too. Like, hmm, let me like dig it away from the religious side and maybe see what the, the atheist community or the agnostic community has to say about child development and, and discipline issues. And then that just like opened up the science and the fields. Mm. And, like, ooh, Basically, like this conflicts with me. As, son, as soon as you stepped out of this, the the religious perspective mm -hmm. just gave you more ideas to look at. I'm not yeah. sure if atheist, I'm not sure if atheism has a perspective on how to raise a kid. No. Right. But like, there's definitely communities of atheists that seem to have a non-religious point of view with regard to yeah, raising kids. Yeah, yeah. It was more welcoming in the science research side. Reason based. It's like yeah. I'm looking at the evidence to see what's the best way to raise my kid. Yeah. And not one book. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All it's, right. it's convoluted. It is. <laughs> but you know what? I do think it's very cool that the way how I see it, when you're in a, when you're in a religious perspective, you have one point of view on how to do something. Mm -hmm. And because of that, optimizing that method is gonna slow itself down because there's no one really challenging it. Mm -hmm. But in a atheist perspective where it's anybody anybody can believe anything else they want aside mm -hmm. along with and I don't believe in a God. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of different ideas clashing with each other and it tends to be that the best ones rise to the top and these are the ones that we're all happy to follow because we don't have a dogma telling us to stick with what we have. Mm -hmm. And it's just the smashing ideas that yeah. make the best ones float to the top. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm gonna raise my kids like that. Yeah. Mary's kids are pretty good. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just amazing because like you know, I come from a really strict authoritarian type of parenting background, yes. and um, and the community around me is super religious, and they, they talk about my son, go, oh, he's so well behaved, and he's so awesome, and I'm okay. like, you know, I've never had to spank him, and he's four, and I'm like, yeah. Yes. And I mean, every kid's different. Right. And I had to have that caveat in the back of my mind. True. So, like, my mom never spanked me, but she would let me stay home anytime I said I don't want to go to school. So, like, <laughs> anytime she's like, Mom, I don't want to school. Stay home, and that put pressure on me. Of like, maybe I should, maybe I should tell that to her because she's just going to be totally. She would sign papers for me ahead of time, just like turn on anytime you don't want to school. School, just give the papers a snow. I signed out ten of them. I got job. <laughs> Do what you gotta do. And I'm like, I gotta stay with, stay with school. I got my PhD. Every, yeah. I stayed with it. But yeah. like that kind of responsibility that she put on me yeah. kind of helped out a lot. And I yeah. think it's possible. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bethany. great. It's so good to meet really you. Really great talking to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this is all I do. <laughs> uh, that's, no, that's cool because I'm really looking forward to NanoCon and meeting Anthony. Me too. I'm really excited. It'll be my first time. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're going to be on a panel together with a bunch of other people, too, Yeah. the SE, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It'll be my first kind of con like that. I'm going to do like more workshops, because sometimes I'm amazed how some of y'all, when y'all go out there and you make conversation with others, how like y'all Socratically think like the next question. Like sometimes I get a little stuck, I'm like, how, like, how, how's that conversation just turned so organic? Do you want to try that real quick?